Hey everyone, welcome again to another exciting video where I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up a AWS Ubuntu server and run your Selenium tests using Jenkins. So let's see what we are going to learn in this particular video. So we are going to learn how to set up a EC2 Ubuntu server on AWS. We'll also see how we can set up the Chrome binary and the Chrome driver on a Ubuntu server. We'll see how we'll set up Java, Maven, Git on the Ubuntu. We'll install the Jenkins on the Ubuntu server. Then we'll make some configurations which are required on Jenkins. And finally, we'll run our Selenium Chrome headless tests from Jenkins on the Ubuntu server. So let's get started. So now I have opened the AWS management console and I have logged in into the console. So here, I'm going to go to the EC2 service where I'm going to create a EC2 server using the Ubuntu instance, right? So go to launch instance and here click on launch instance. Here I'm going to use only the free tire instances. Okay, so you can select this free tire only checkbox here. It will list down all the instances which are eligible for free tire. Now here I'm going to select the Ubuntu server 20.0 LTS, right? So select this. And by default, it will select the T2 micro, which is again free tire eligible. So we'll select that and go to configure instance details. Now, these are some of the details which are related to the instance, but we don't need to make any changes for this particular demo. So go to add storage here. If we want, we can increase the storage up to 30 GB, right? So I will just increase it to 16 GB for now and go to add tags. So here I'm going to give a tag name and the value as EC2 Ubuntu and Jenkins. Then click on configure security group. Here we need to make some changes. Right, so for the first type, which is SSH, I'm going to make it the source as my IP. Okay, and then I will add another rule for custom TCP and open this port so that our Jenkins instance can be accessible. After that, I will also add HTTPS and HTTP. Right, so these are the four security group types which we need to add. Go to review and launch and then click on launch. Here I can either create a new key pair or choose an existing key pair. So I will choose a existing key pair. So click on I acknowledge and click on launch instances. Then we can go to our instance. It will take some time to start. So we'll wait. Once the EC2 instance is up and running and all the status checks have passed, select the EC2 instance and just check the details. So you will see there is a IP4 address and IP4 DNS through which you can access this EC2 instance, which is nothing but Ubuntu Linux server. So after you select this server, go to connect. And in this, go to SSH client. And here in the example, you will see that it is configured for your instance. And you can directly copy this command and go to your command prompt. And then you need to go to the folder where you have saved your private key. So I have saved it in downloads. So I'll go to that downloads folder. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste this command and hit enter. It will ask for a confirmation to connect. Once I do that, you will see I'm connected to my Ubuntu EC2 instance, right? Now we need to install a lot of things into this Ubuntu server, like the Chrome binary, the Chrome driver, Java, Maven, Git, Jenkins, right? So all of these softwares we need to install in this Ubuntu server. 
and for that we need to run some commands because this is a command line tool so we are going to run some command the first command is to update all the packages right so we'll get a list of all the updated packages so let's go here and run this command which is sudo app get update okay so it will try and drag all the packages which needs to be updated in this server so once it's done we'll go ahead and upgrade all these packages so that everything is updated right so for that we need to run sudo app get upgrade right so let's go ahead and do this so once it's completed i want to install the chrome binary okay so let's go ahead and execute this commands so first as updating the fonts liberation and then we will use wget to download this package for the chrome binary so let's go ahead and do that and once it's done then we will run the package so it will unpack this particular chrome binary package and you might see that there are some errors encountered while processing google chrome stable but don't worry you just need to upgrade these packages right so what you can do is run this command which is sudo apt get install f right run this and it will automatically update all your packages related to your chrome binary and now you will see it will be successful right now if you want to check whether google chrome binary was successfully installed then you can type google chrome and then you can type version that will show you the google chrome version which is installed on this ubuntu server which is 91 okay now we need to make sure that we need to install the chrome driver which is similar to the chrome binary version which is 91 okay so I've already prepared the URL for that. So let's go ahead and use the wget command to get this particular package. So right now we are installing the Chrome driver. So the next command is to unzip the file, right? So let's go ahead and do this. Now, if you see that the unzip package is not present, you can go ahead and run this command, which is given here to install this package once you do that rerun the unzip command and then finally we need to move it to the right folder right so run this command sudo move chrome driver to the user bin directory and once it's done you can verify the chrome driver version as well so type chrome driver version and you will see it is also the 91 version okay so both our chrome binary and chrome driver are now installed on the ubuntu server now next we are going to install the java so we'll use this command to install the default jdk version on this ubuntu server so let's go ahead and execute this once the java installation is complete the next step is to install maven and git so run the commands for those and similarly for git and you will see the git is already the newest version in the server so it's not upgrading that and then we can go ahead and install jenkins so to install jenkins on ubuntu server these are the commands so we'll execute them one by one Now we just need to update the package and install Jenkins. And once Jenkins installation is complete, our setup is complete on this Ubuntu server. Now 
we can head back to our browser and try to check whether we can access the Jenkins server, right? So let's come back to our console and here we need the IP address. So let's go ahead and copy this for our EC2 server and open a new tab and here let's paste that and after that you need to also access the 8080 port, right? So hit enter and you will see that it is showing the Jenkins setup page, right? So we need the initial admin password. So we need to get it from this particular location. So let's go back here and let's connect back to our instance. And here we'll say sudo cat this folder and that will give us the initial password. So we'll copy this and paste it here. Click on continue. Now we will install the suggested plugins. So this may take some time. Once all the plugins are installed, you will be taken to this page where we need to create an admin user. This is an optional step, but let's go ahead and do this. Then let save and continue. The instance configuration Jenkins URL is already set. So click on save and finish to complete your Jenkins setup and click on start using Jenkins. Now our Jenkins is completely set up. Now the last thing to do is to do a global tool configuration and add all the paths for Java, Git and Maven. Okay. So go here, unselect the install automatically, give a name here and we need to give the Java home directory. So I have already listed down here. You can also find it from the terminal for the Ubuntu server. So let's go ahead and paste this. Similarly for get its path is this. And for Maven, again, unselect the install automatically and give your default. Go here and give the Maven home directory as the user share Maven, right? Now click on apply and click on save. So that completes our Jenkins global tool configuration. And the last step is to create a new build. So click on new item here, give a name. So we'll say Selenium demo. Click on freestyle project, click on OK to create your build. Now in this build configuration, you can give a description, although it's optional. The important parts are the source code management and the build step, right? So we'll choose the source code management at Git. And I already have a GitHub repository which contains a headless browser test. Now you can very well use your own repository or you can clone my repository for which the URL will be given in the video description. So I have already copied that. So this is my GitHub repository, which contains a single test, right? And once it's connected, now remaining settings will remain same. Go directly to the build step and in add build step, you need to invoke the Maven target, right? So here we'll see the goal as clean install. And we will save this build configuration. So that completes our build configuration step. And the last part is to run the build, right? So go back to dashboard and here you will see a run option or the build scheduled option, right? So once you do that, it will start running the build here. We can go ahead and see the console for this, right? So this is the console output. So it will load all the plugins and dependencies which are there for this particular repository and it's going to take some time, right? So until that, let's go ahead and see what's there in this particular repository, right? So this is my repository which I've created for this particular demo. And if you go inside this first 
test.java it's a very simple test right uh, it sets the chrome drive property and here you need to use the path for chrome driver which is present on the ubuntu server not on your local right and then we need to use the chrome options to add the headless and disable gpu options right so that it can run in headless mode and once you do that you can create a new chrome driver instance uh, get the url i'm using google.com i am getting the title of the page and also printing it and then i'm verifying whether the page title equals google if not it will fail the test so very simple test to kind of demonstrate in this particular video so let's go back to our jenkins instance and here you will see it's still downloading the maven dependencies so let's wait for a while and now as you can see the build is a success and if i go up in the logs you will also see the text which i have printed in the logs right so let's search for our test right so this is the test section and if you see here carefully here is the title of the page is google so that's what i printed to the console and it's printed in the logs right so this is how you can set up your jenkins server on a linux ubuntu server on aws ec2 you can also set up your chrome browser and the chrome driver and all the required packages in order to run your selenium test on a chrome headless browser in a ec2 server which is nothing but a linux ubuntu server so all of the packages or all of the commands which i have used in this particular video is given in the video description you can take a reference from there you can also use my blog site qscript.com where i have listed down all the commands in a sequential manner with all the documentation to complete this whole setup so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel qa script and hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss our next video